Bye guys. <laughs>
그래서 오히려 혼자 하는 게 이제 누구 뭐 허락 받을 것도 없고 내가 그냥 내 자신에게 투자하는 거니까 훨씬 편하고 할수 있는 게 훨씬 많은 것 같아요. Like I was just saying, like it's it's like being in a company, you know, it, it helps you a lot monetarily, but at the end of the day, like companies need to make money, and I'm at a point in my career where I want to put more money than I can make. If I make money, I put it right back into my music. So I mean. Uh, I think in that aspect, it gives me a lot more creativity uh, and a lot more options for doing what I want to do with my music. And I have more control. And I don't need to do it to make money. So, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's the best version, for, uh, best option for me at the moment. What do you mean this is not Kano? This is Kano. Kano in se? Do you like the song? <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? What do you think? Uh, of course I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Imagine me having a boyfriend and like releasing all of this depressing sad music and then being like, is this music about me? Like, no, I, I, am, I am very single at the moment. Not even dating. Uh, if you saw my last video, you saw me try. Oh, Yoongi, 안녕. You saw me try and fail miserably, so... Do you have a plan in Korean? Do you have a plan in Korean? I have to think about it still. I really think that the songs are more colorful than the songs. So I'm trying to think about it. You know, the funny thing was, Songho, Jenny, uh, they were the ones that really helped me pick out the cover for the song. So I showed them all of my pictures, all of my photo shoot pictures, and they were looking through it, and I had no idea which photo that I wanted to use. Uh, so they helped me kind of narrow it down, and we ended up picking the red uh, color one because it felt, it felt very panicky, right? So, yeah. Cool kind of uh, little BTS behind the scenes. Tia, bye. Oh, Hyungjoo님, 감사합니다. 나중에 또 같이 놀아요. Yeah, everything turned out really good. 김정희 킬링 보이스 언제 나오나요? 킬링 보이스요? 글쎄요. 같이 참여해 주실래요? 킬링 보이스는 혼자 하기가 좀 그런데. <clears throat> Your music is not turning, it's just beautiful. Yeah, so I mean, I think in essence, um, uh, how can we support you the best? Uh, Spotify is definitely, I think, one of my biggest money makers in general, but I think in general, just like retweeting, hearting the music, uh, playing it a lot, and sharing it obviously helps me a lot. Uh, music nowadays, it's very... Uh, algorithmic based so it's like we need like a good push in the beginning to kind of get the song to start getting into the algorithm and you know spreading it out everywhere why are my lips so red my lips aren't that red let me see if you guys don't quite Yeah, so I mean, if you listen to the song lyrics, it is pretty depressing. But I think um, if you, the song in itself, I think I've said this before, it's, it's about anxiety. So it's not necessarily what's reality right now for me. You know, we all deal with anxiety and, and a lot of times we have that voice in our heads that's always like screaming like negative thoughts. And that's what it, it's basically about. It's not that it's not true. Obviously, it's based in truth, but it, it yeah, it's, it's like, you know, like strangers think I'm going, obviously, like people around me don't all think I'm crazy. But, you know, with society, you know, like with me seeing the news in Korea always about like, you know, people fighting against like LGBT rights and stuff like that. Like, yeah, those kind of times when I look at those kind of news, it, it kind of like, you know, 
makes my head, gets my head into a weird place and I just start thinking that everyone hates me and I start like spiraling. And like those are all things that, you know, anxiety basically causes. And that's the same with like sometimes my family uh, that I feel like they don't understand me sometimes. And it was just me kind of taking my anxiety and putting it into lyrics uh, and kind of, I don't know, getting it out in the open, I feel like does help uh, not just in making good music, but I feel like it's, it's a healing process for me as well, you know? There's, there's a part of me that, you know, always wants to keep my sadness and a lot of the stress and anxiety a secret and always like, you know, put on a happy face. But I feel like part of the healing process for me is to, you know, kind of is going crazy right now. <laughs> part of the healing process is basically be acknowledging the sadness and acknowledging my anxiety and acknowledging where I came from and why I have those kind of thoughts and putting it into a more healthier perspective, you know, and, and opening up about it and putting it out, out in the open and, you know, getting the validation that I need to realize that, you know, I'm not alone and that I'm not completely crazy, you know, about thinking these kind of thoughts. So, yeah, I think over the past few weeks, even with my YouTube video, I saw a lot of you guys posting a lot of like amazing comments like, uh, experiences that you guys had whether it was like divorce or death or or just bad breakups uh those kind of comments really it really touched my heart and i loved reading them yeah i definitely do have a lot of love around me and i'm very blessed and i yeah i mean i think I think it's about, I think all of this like whole sad boy era for me is me taking charge of my life again, right? Because for the longest time you have like your anxiety and, and, and the what ifs and like your sadness kind of taking control of your life. But me acknowledging it and making music out of it is me basically taking charge again uh, for my life taking charge of my life and kind of steering, steering it in a direction that's positive for me and healing for me. Ah, but the Korean people are all in English, but I understand it all. Listening to it right now. Sad boy era is a mood though. It is a mood, it is a mood. <laughs> but yeah, I've been like, I've basically been uh, preparing this comeback for like a really long time and the last few weeks have been like sleepless for me. So I got really sick last week uh, and I'm still kind of sick right now. But luckily, you know, it's like it's gotten better. But, you know, it's like I, I need to make sure I start taking care of myself. So I'm probably going to start performing sometime next year. This year, I just want to kind of re reestablish myself as a musician and then start to, you know, perform again and tour again, hopefully go to your countries and perform there, uh, maybe starting next year. After I get like one or two more songs out. I <laughs> 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 Yeah, I really do want to perform again. It's been so long since I performed. Uh, but once again, this is like my first time releasing something in like three years. Uh, so I think right now I just need to establish myself as a musician first. So this is what that's about. And then I'm going to release another song maybe later this year or early next year. And then I have a few songs lined up. <laughs> Have you eaten? Oh, Sungmin, hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, long time no see. 
Oh, I hope you're doing great. I haven't talked to you in forever. <laughs> People from Russia love you. Keep making music and don't doubt your talents. Thank you, guys. Any plans of having a physical album for your song? I'll make a physical album uh, probably when I make an EP. So right now, this is a single. I'm gonna release a few more songs and then probably tie it into an EP. And then once I have a physical copy of the EP that I print out, then I'm probably going to start to, you know, uh, tour again. And, you know, maybe you can purchase one of my albums. And yeah, that's 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 the plan for right now. So everything is, this is just kind of the Kickstarter and everything's gonna kind of start happening next year. <laughs> I'm from Amsterdam, visiting so- Oh, nice! I actually performed in Amsterdam in 2015. <clears throat> yeah, but it's kind of crazy because like me releasing these kind of songs and the songs that I'm going to release in the future, they're, they were all kind of written with not necessarily to be relatable, but kind of as a healing process for me. But like surprisingly, a lot of people were able to relate. And yeah, I think that's, I, I guess that's like kind of like the power of music, you know? It's just... Till I'm visiting Solsi, what are you talking about? <laughs> you were just here yesterday. <laughs> okay guys, if you've seen me with like my different lengths of hair, like, you know, I have this hair, short hair right now. I also had my very like medium long hair uh, back in like my his man days, Namione days. I had like kind of medium length hair. And then if you look at my pictures, I had very long hair. Like I'm getting very mixed uh, reactions on what people think, but do you guys prefer my short hair, like medium hair or long hair? <laughs> Long hair supremacy. Ah, but the long hair is really taking a lot of time. It's really hard. It's really hard. Ah. Do you want to Long hair when? I don't know. How long does it Last time I grew up that my hair to that length, it took me like all of like Corona. I didn't cut my hair once and I just grew it out. I I guess people are saying like it's it's just different vibes. I did want to grow up my hair for the winter, but ugh. right now, since I I'm cutting my hair like two times a uh uh, I, I'm cutting my hair like twice a month uh, to kind of keep it at this length. Otherwise, it gets a little messy. But I am growing out my bangs a little bit more. I'll grow it out a little bit, see how I feel. And then if I can grow it out a little bit more, I'll just continue to grow it out. But for now, enjoy my short hair. Who's your favorite in his man? Kano. <laughs> Long haired team. Should, should we should have a Kano reaction? Did you not hear see Kano's reaction? He was like dancing all over the place listening to my song. You didn't see that story? I posted it on my story. Yeah, he was like dancing and everything. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just wear a wig. Do you know what I kind of do want to try? I kind of want to try a mullet. <laughs> 
but I don't know if I could pull it off. Like not a complete bullet, like long here, but also a little bit long in the back and a little bit slimmer. Can I dance? In general, no, but I can do a mean body roll sometimes. Like, you know, body rolls. The wolf cut, yeah, wolf cut. But that also takes a really long time to grow up. Like, I would need at least probably like six months from here. And by the time I grow it out, it's gonna be summer. Oh,いつもは安静。ポコシパ。そうだ、ドロ。あ、本当に僕は。そんな韓国人なんだから。あ、いや、でも、いいよ。もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、
아 서울에 주차하는 거 진짜 너무 힘들어요 진짜 What's my favorite fruit? Oh, I love cure. 진짜 겨울 in the winter cure uh mandarin uh, tangerines I don't know which which is the right one. Um but yeah, like so good in the winter in Korea. That's like all I eat. 진짜 귤 몬스터. 혼자서 다 먹어요, 진짜. Sitting at the school parking lot with your son. Oh, I love that. Do your fingers get yellow if you eat a lot of grapes? I don't have very many left. These are all I have left. <laughs> ah, cure? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, no, no. It's the oranges that get your fingers yellow. Yes, I, I've watched Given. I've already watched Given. I have never even heard of it. I, I, I heard of him. Definitely. Uh, he's one of the reasons why I want to watch the show. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's really nice. I, I'm glad that you guys like the lyrics a lot because, uh, yeah, I sat like the melody is difficult, but sometimes the lyrics. It takes so long because I want to, yeah. I, I was very worried, but I'm glad that you guys can relate to the lyrics. I thought it'd be a little bit too much. Um, like the lines, there's some like intense lines. Like when I say popping pills, I don't mean like ecstasy. I'm not talking about drugs. Uh, popping pills for me meant like, you know, uh, the moment in my life when I was taking like antidepressants and like SSRIs, you know, when I was like completely depressed. Uh, I'm off them right now, but like, you know, it's like that was part of the process of me You know getting over my ex and like fighting anxiety of coming out and all of that But I'm glad it didn't like feel a bit too intense <clears throat> Yeah, but for sure I'm gonna be uh, on Twitch later at 12 a.m. tonight. So if you want to join Tabi on 205 Yeah, but for sure, um, I'm gonna be releasing a lot more music more frequently. Uh, that's my goal for uh, this year. I mean, the, the upcoming year. Luckily, I already have like three songs finished. Uh, and yeah, I'll have to start writing more. And hopefully, as long as you know, I'm able to like perform, make money, uh, hopefully the flow of music will not stop and I'll be able to like make a full album one day. That's the dream. But EP first. EP first. 내년에 EP 목표로 일단 곡을 계속 작업하고 있어요. I think Kano's like laying down right now. Oh, uh, honestly, I really wanted a music video for this one as well. 이번 것도 진짜 뮤직 비디오 있었으면 너무 좋았을 텐데. Guys, music videos can cost like 3,000 to like $10,000. It's like not cheap. Not cheap. I can't afford a music video for this one. For sure. Yeah, but one step at a time, I think this is just me establishing myself as a musician, and then I have more songs coming out, so 
I think I would rather write more songs and release more songs than to write one song with a music video and then like wait a whole entire year to release another song, you know? Self made movie, rado. Ah, ah, 아니에요. Movie는 그래도 제대로 해야죠. 아니면 나중에 좀돈돈벌수 있으면 늦게라도 한번 만들어 볼게요. <웃음> 리믹스 버전, 리믹스 버전. 아, 미카, 야. 아, 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 리믹스 버전. 아, 미카, 야. 아,
별로 뭐를 받는 게 없는 거죠 그냥 저작권 그것 때문에 Copyrights are very difficult um, and this, I'm using this one distributor like for the first time so it's like I'm still getting used to all of their stuff but I will keep doing vlogs and everything um, so I mean please uh, I'm trying to relate a lot of my the point of my vlog is to give you more context into my life right so like I'm not just showing you all of like what I do on the daily just to show you it's it's to give you a little bit more context in on what I'm thinking what I'm going through at the current moment and because those are the things that kind of influence what kind of music that I make uh, so you know I think Japan even though I didn't plan it it ended up being a perfect example of you know like just anxiety getting into my head you know like even though that guy was a douche um, even though he he did do me wrong it still showed you a part of my life where you know a part of my anxiety a part of uh, my sadness which was kind of a great segue into my song I feel like you know it, it, it kind of fit right in so I mean those are the kind of moments that I do want to capture and show you guys. Uh, so it's not just me like trying to be a pick me boy and trying to get attention just by showing you like that I cry. No, it's 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 to show you the context of where I'm at mentally and and how it relates to my songs, you know. So definitely, if you haven't watched it, uh, Japan, uh, Tokyo. Introspection part one and two. There's two parts to my Japan trip. Panic, 잘 들었어요. 감사합니다. 많이 sharing 많이 해주세요. Does it cost money to go on music shows? I don't think I, music shows are more of like a flex nowadays, especially for idols. It's like a flex. Me, I need just organic, you know, marketing. Like you know, I just need people to spread my music. That's like the only thing that I need. Uh, and if it ends up going viral, even better. Have you ever done busking? Yeah, I have done busking before. I used to do a lot of busking back in the days, although I haven't done any recently. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely itching to start performing again. But I'm really glad you guys like my music. Straight kids, of course, I like straight kids. Felix, Punk Chan. Are you planning a collab in the future? Uh, I don't know. I would love to collab, but I don't have very many options yet. And I feel like the only way I can start collabing with other artists that I want to is to kind of put myself on the map again, you know? So, definitely, I, I really do want to start collabing. I would, I would. Definitely love to collab. If there's anyone you want me to collab with though, you should like slide into their DMs or into their comments and be like, hey, <laughs> collab with Tabi. <laughs> I see you liking CP1 content. <laughs> yeah. I'm go I'm trying to go I'm trying to go through a ZB1 phase. Like they're they're the number one group that I'm supporting at the moment. Collab 하면 누구랑 하고 싶어요? 콜랩을 하면 음 솔직히 해보고 싶은 사람 많죠. 뭐 솔직히 이제 결이 비슷한 사람으로 따지면 뭐 에릭남도 있고 아니면 뭐 
제가 커밍아웃 하면서 홀랜드도 커밍아웃 하면서 엄청 뭔가 자기 음악하고 이미지를 엄청 많이 만들어 낸것 같아서 홀랜드도 진짜 재밌을 것 같고 하고 말 통할 것도 많을 것 같고 또 들고 있지? <웃음> red velvet? <웃음> I love red velvet <웃음> 키스즘 cheerful words. I need encouragement to overcome depression. You know, sometimes it's not about just like getting, like, you know, I feel like getting empty words of encouragement, for me at least, felt a lot less encouraging than people who are able to empathize with me. And I feel like empathizing is one of the most important things in being able to like, overcome whatever you're going through, you need to know that people, there are people around you that are going through similar things that, that, that are trying to survive just like you are. So if anything, uh, if you are going through a tough time, I would like to offer you a safe space and let you know that you are definitely not alone and you always have my sad music to <laughs> get you through whatever you're going through. Uh, so yeah, we can get through it together. Going to the gym helps. Yeah, it definitely does. And also, yeah, there's nothing better than professional help, you know. I say that all the time, but professional help isn't always, it's not always affordable. You know, it is pretty expensive, so. But yeah, you guys, you don't have to suffer alone. Just know that, you know, there, there's so many of us, you know, that are going through something similar that you are. Uh, and the reason why I'm releasing songs like this is to kind of, you know, show you guys that not everyone is like as sane as you think they are. You know, not everyone has it together. Uh, there are many people who are going through something similar and I think there's power in community. So you just got to find the right one. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a work in progress. I'm working on myself. Trying my best, living every day with purpose, uh, trying to make the most of every day. I'm getting by. Oh, fan name, a oh, fandom name. So a long time ago when I was, uh, in 2013 when I debuted, I actually had a fandom name and it was, it was called Taipi back in the day. <laughs> in like 2013, like you guys were supposed to be like my moonlight. And my name, Tapi, also sounds like all light. So it's like, yeah, that's what it used to be. I don't know if it's gonna stick now, but yeah. I guess Taipi uh, would be D A L B I T, like Tapi, but with the L. Yeah, 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 exactly. Type beat. Uh, Anna got it right. Just... 
hub it and type it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I really do hope that I can meet you guys. 다들 진짜 한 번씩은 만나보고 싶어요, 진짜. 빨리 공연도 하고. 이벤트 인디아? Have I been to India? I've been to like multiple cities in India. Bangalore, Kolkata, New Delhi. Yeah. Multiple times. My short king, thank you. <laughs> Ever since I uploaded that video of me not being able to reach the cabinets. Hello from Texas. Hi. I still have not been to Thailand, Vietnam. Uh, I haven't been to Iran yet or Turkey. Uh, those are all places that I definitely want to go. I just haven't had the opportunity to go. Yeah, I've been to India a lot. I've been to India a lot. I've been to Mexico quite a few times. I've been to Brazil. Mul uh, not multiple times. I went on a long tour in Brazil uh, to multiple cities as well. Went to Canada, Toronto, of course the US. Oh yeah! <gasps> Back in the day with Sunny, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Time flies by so quickly now. <laughs> yeah, but once again, I really do hope that I can start touring again next year. Your old interviews in Manila and she'll keep coming. <laughs> oh, I'm just counting down the days when I can go back to the Philippines. That's one of my like comfort places that I like to go to. Because I have some friends there and I've been there multiple times. Love the food. I just feel very comfortable there. So definitely need to make a trip back to the Philippines soon. What's your favorite Indian food? Biryani. I love biryani. I'm obsessed with biryani. But I want to try biryani like of all different regions. <laughs> 일단 <웃음> 제일 없는 쪽이 한국이에요. 솔직히 말하면 한국 팬들이 제일 없어. <웃음> 맨날 영어 쓰다 보니까. <웃음> 아 그래서 한국에 사시는 분들은. 제 음악 좀 많이 들어주세요. 홍보 많이 해주고 <웃음> 저도 한국에서 공연해 보고 싶어요. <웃음> Do I have a boyfriend? No, no, no. Honestly, like you see, I'm lonely. I am. I really am. <laughs> of course, I've loved. I've been single for over a year now. Like, and I haven't gone on like that many dates or anything. So it's like I'm lonely, but at the same time, I'm not sure I'm ready for a relationship. So 
So it's like, it's difficult, you know? I'm lonely on one side, but I also want to be able to focus on myself. And I know that part of my growth is me needing to be a little more selfish. And I feel like that's where I'm at, you know? I'm the type of person when I get into a relationship, I make my partner my the excuse for me not taking care of myself. And I know that's one of my like big flaws and that's probably not what I need in my life right now. But I'd love to go on dates. I really would. I, I want to go on dates, but I just, yeah. <웃음> 좋은 사람 만나기 위해서 내가 먼저 좋은 사람이 되어야 하던데 맞아요 근데 진짜 아까 영어로 말했던 거는 솔직히 외롭긴 하죠 외롭긴 한데 제가 연애 보통 할 때는 제 자신을 엄청 희생하는 편이거든요 하고 오히려 제 파트너 핑계를 대면서 저를 안 챙기게 돼요 막 파트너 챙긴다고 내 꿈을 안 줬고 파트너 챙겨준다고 막내 돈을 다 써버리고 막 그런 스타일이어서 솔직히 지금 단계에서는 연애가 제 인생에는 도움이 될것 같진 않아요 그렇다고 하고 싶지 않은 건 아니죠 당연히 외롭고 당연히 데이트나 하고 싶지만 아직 타이밍은 맞지는 않은 것 같아요 지금 한참 뭔가 음악 쪽으로도 뭐 음악도 잘 나오고 하고 뭔가 잘 되고 있을 때는 뭔가 조금 더 이기적인 연습을 해야 되는 것 같아서 일단은 계속 솔로로 이상형 어떻게 되세요? What's my type? Well, for one, I like someone who who is not a picky eater. 진짜 다 먹을 수 있어야 돼요. 향신료도 좋아해야 되고. 아니면 도전적이어야 돼요. I like someone who will eat anything, like at least try anything once. Like food is such an important thing for me. Uh, but also, I like someone who is good at expressing themselves. 감정 표현 잘하는 사람. 하고 저는 개인적으로는 조금 덩치 있는 사람 좋아요. I like someone who's a little bit like heftier, a little bit bulkier than me. <laughs> 근데 웃긴 거는 만나는 사람들은 엄청 많은 사람들밖에 안 만나도 안 만나게 되더라고요. 그래서 뭐꼭 이상형이라고 그렇게 만나는 건 아닌 것 같아요. Yeah. Just because you pick a type doesn't mean that you're gonna date that type. I don't think I've ever dated my exact type before. 근데 I'm open. I'm very open. Always open. Uh, as long as they're in Korea, I don't care about race, I don't care about, you know. <laughs> so if anyone wants to shoot their shot, <laughs> DM 보내주세요. Sh shoot me a DM. Ah, how strong are they? They need a, they, they, they need, they need to love my dog. Yeah. 카노를 사랑해야죠. 진짜, 만약에 애인 카노 이렇게 선택하라고 하면 저는 100% 카노. Yeah, I need someone who. I need someone who can love a dog, love my dog like his child. Funny thing is, 진짜 방송 끝나고 뭔가 남자들한테 DM 많이 올줄 알았는데 진짜 하나도 안 오도 하나도 안 와요 진짜 하나도 안 와요 진짜. <sighs> yeah, I thought like, I thought after the show, I get a lot of like, I don't know, DM from guys, but I get none. Zero. Zero DM from guys, at least guys that live in Korea. I don't know 
오지 않을까요? 저만 안온것 같아요. 근데 제가 영어밖에 안 쓰니까 부담스러울 수도 있는 거고 그건 모르는 거죠, 솔직히. 에휴. 근데 또 다른 멤버들은 또 이쪽 친구들이나 이제 뭐 아는 사람들이 있으면 또 이렇게 인맥 걸쳐서 사람들 만나고 그러는데 저는 일단 영정도에 살고 이쪽 친구들이 별로 없다 보니까 사람 만, 새로운 사람을 만날 수 있는 기회는 진짜 어플 말고는 거의 기회가 없어요. It's really difficult to meet people organically nowadays. So it's like It's it's almost impossible. I live like in Incheon and like. 다리 상고 잘하는데 그니까요. 진짜 저도 저도 그때 8년 연애하면서 제일 늘었던 거는 한국말로 말싸움 하는 거 엄청 늘었어요. <웃음> 그래서 진짜 표현할 거다 표현할 수 있어요 한국말로. <웃음> 근데 잘해서 뭐해 남자가 있어야지 <웃음> 아는 사람이 있으면 소개시켜주세요 If you have anyone you know that you know solo and looking for something you can, you can send them my way Yeah, and dating apps. I really dislike dating apps, but once again, especially for like gay people who don't have like a lot of queer friends, like you have no choice. There's no other way to meet other people organically like that. What's your favorite K-pop group? Right now, I'm trying to... I'm, I am I like ZB1, a Zero Base One, but I also really like Rise. But, you know, it's like... Kiss of Life is also really good as well. I mean, there I, I listen to a lot of different things. Sangwoo, 안녕. Zero Base One, 저랑 콘서트 가실 분 있나요? Zero Base One 콘서트 꼭 가보고 싶어요 저는. I'm gonna go to their concert one day. After I finish watching Boys Planet, I'm gonna go to their concert. But yeah, if you wanna watch Boys Planet or other BLs with me, you can follow me on Twitch. <laughs> That's what I do there. 얼마나 걸렸어요? 이 노래 작곡하는데 오, 좋은 질문입니다 uh, Writing this song, it took me about like I think a good one or two months 멜로디 자체 쓰는 건 오래 안 걸렸거든요 근데 가사가 진짜 힘들었어요 저는 It like the melody itself didn't take that long of a time to write but the lyrics took me forever and a lot of times I'll spend days or weeks or maybe even months on like a single line 근데 가사 진짜 마음에 들어요. 진짜 이번에 원래 이번 쓴 가사는 보통 제가 가사를 예전에 썼을 때는 커밍업 안 했을 때는 뭔가 조금 더 너무 다크한 가사가 나오던지 아니면 뭐 약간 이쪽 티가 나는 가사를 쓰면 바로 수정해서 다 약간 좀 바꿨거든요. 조금 더 이제 사람들이 모르게 근데 그런 것 때문에 표현을 잘 못했던 것 같고 뭔가 깊이감도 없고 그래도 이번에는 그런 한계 없이 그냥 느끼는 대로 다 쓰다 보니까 너무 처음으로 뭔가 뿌듯함이 있는 것 같아요 가사에. So like usually when I like write my lyrics, I used to always edit and water down all of my lyrics because 
like when I write lyrics, it would always turn out darker or or maybe too quote unquote gay, uh, and people will, like find out that I'm gay or something, you know, through my lyrics. So I always ended up having to water my lyrics down and change it to a more kind of mainstream and Korean appropriate kind of vibe. Uh, but this is like the first song where I didn't have any of that, and I just kind of. Vomited out all of the things that I was feeling and it was really refreshing in that aspect. So I, I really I'm very proud of the lyrics that I wrote for uh, this song Yeah collabs I definitely want to do but please like yeah I'm too shy to just be like hey what a collab, you know, and I don't know any other like musicians uh, so, you know, maybe you can slide into their comments and like tell them like, Hey, you should collab with Tavi. If you, if you think anyone would fit with me, just go into the comments and be like, Hey, <laughs> I know this cool artist that you would sound great with. I recommend you the 8th Sense. I watched the 8th Sense. I watched the 8th Sense. I watched Love Tractor. I watched, um, My Dating Sim. I've watched quite a lot now. Watch them all on Twitch. <gasps> do you know what I need? If I do a music video, I should get like a hot guy to feature my music video. <laughs> music video 하면 남자 주인공이 필요하겠죠, 저 말고. <laughs> 추천하실 분 있으면 저한테 보내주세요. <웃음> 뮤직비디오 <웃음> 어, oh, yeah, I, I am definitely gonna watch Love Class. Uh, I heard Love Class 2 was the one that I needed to watch. Hmm. <웃음> But yeah, if you have like any of those kind of like BL stuff or if you're interested in that kind of stuff, just follow my Twitch. I'm going to be on Twitch later at 12 a.m. tonight, so in like two hours, so we can talk about it there. Okay, anyways guys, uh, I'm going to eat some dinner uh, and then I'm going to go on Twitch later tonight. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on any new stuff that's going on. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I'll try to do Insta Live every so often, but yeah. Thank you guys. Promote my song. Listen to my song. Panic. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.